What's up, we gamers? Here's to a new week. We are into a new week. Yes, indeed. What's popping? What's going on? How was your weekend? I know y'all like, damn, she always got different hats and units and wigs and shit on. My God, yes. You want to see a whole lot of that different shit going on, though, because I like doing what I want to do. I told y'all, I'm comfortable. But how was y'all weekend? My weekend was good, though. Um, It was pretty much restful but at the same time you know my mind is digitizing and you know what i'm saying pretty much listing and getting the, the the manual done and everything you know getting myself ready for the next you know following week you know what i'm saying um well i got a little t-shirt line i would like to come out with um a different one on top of the one that i got queen gamers um the season is coming up, it's getting warm, and I'm just like, I want to try something new. So, I said I'll just add something to, like, you know, my t-shirt line or whatever. So, what do y'all think about the tank top or whatever? You know what I'm saying? So, I just think about, like, how to introduce it, tank tops or whatever, because it's getting warm and stuff. And I want to see how... That would add to my collection. That's what I mean. On top of my line, excuse me. Look, I be when I be um taping y'all, it just be a long day. So sometimes I, I, you know, I don't have time to tape, you know, during the waking hours and stuff like that, cause I be busy, or whatever. On top of you know, what I'm saying relocating and you know, what I'm saying just uh, contacting different people and you know, what I'm saying getting booked and everything like that and. You know what I'm saying? Then I got, you know what I'm saying, another business that I do take care of as well. I'm just like, oh, my goodness, you know. But if you want something about a life, boo, that's what you got to do. You got to work because, I mean, <laughs> you can't expect everything if you're not doing nothing. So, you know, do the math with that. But, um, you know, this is a new week or whatever. You know, everything is refreshing and... You know, everybody hopefully gotten their rest, gotten their mind in order. And, you know, thank God for everything, you know, that he's given. And, you know, saying just count your losses, count it all joy. Um, you know, rejoice in what you do have. And, and that just focus on what you don't have and stuff like that. Because m many times we don't realize that we have more things more than we have lost or don't have. So I try not to focus on what I don't have and just pray on what what I do have and, and, and ask for what I don't have. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, this week is going to be, I guess, a lot about confidence, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, a lot of people lack confidence and it's just, you know, sad that they feel like it's well that when they encounter you, that either they're going to, you know, make you feel a certain type of way because that's the way they feel or they're either going to be inspired by it. You know what I'm saying? By your confidence, that is. So, I mean, like I said, it, it took me a long time to get me to where I wanted to be as far as confidence so because, you know, along my way, you know, as I was growing and maturing to the woman I am today, you know, you had some people that would try to play with your confidence, and that never really sat well with me, though, even though they tried to. And I don't pretty much mesh, you know, greatly with people who want to downplay my sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Never let nobody put darkness on your sunshine. You know, so don't never let no one else's views feel like you should view yourself a certain way because that's the way they view you. Well, honey, if yes, don't feel like you don't look right or feel right on another spectrum, don't put that shit on somebody else. <laughs> that's you. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you feel. But don't put that on somebody else because you can't control the way I would like to walk, talk, and move because, honey, I'm a big one. Yes, indeed, I'm a big one. And I feel damn good about myself. Yes. Honey, two-piece swimsuits, little shorts, whatever the case may be. And, and if you feeling fucked up all because I'm feeling outright, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the bomb bitch, that's all you owe? Yeah, I, I talks my shit too. 
I talk to my shit, boo. Yes, I sure do. And, and still a queen, baby. And still back that all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to set a person straight when they feel like they can, you know, you should be crooked. Uh-uh. But, um, you know, like I said, you know, you um reach the backdrop at the end of this story. Or no, pretty much not the end of this story, but pretty much at the end of the week as to a lot of things that brought me to where I am as a confident woman. Because like I said, you know, you got to look at yourself and be glad in it. You know what I'm saying? You can't compare yourself to nobody else or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? You know, you can't let people um, bring you down or, or, or let words, you know, say define you because that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? People want to bring you down because that's where they want you to be at because that's how they feel about their goddamn self. Shit, I've been called every name in the damn book and I'll say this the whole week. I've been called every name in the book. You know, do what makes you feel good and makes you feel confident. You know what I'm saying? As long as you respect yourself as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm at the age where, you know what I'm saying, I don't give a damn about what nobody think about me. I really don't. You know what I mean? So, like I said, it's the beginning of the week. You know what I'm saying? And made up my plans for over the weekend. Like I said, I'll be at the, um, I'll be in Athens, Georgia, this Saturday, the 29th, at the Hawaiian Lehigh Club. You know what I'm saying? Um... Getting them queen gay, sh queen game shirts sold. You know what I'm saying. Representing your womanhood, representing your strength, representing your creativity, representing you know what I'm saying. Whether your you know what I'm saying your your your, your weekdays and how you got through your storms and all that. You know what I'm saying. It's about everything that you've been through and how that you look at the eye of the storm and you kept it moving in life. You know what I'm saying. You refuse not to be weak, even though. We all had weak moments, but you refuse not to stay weak from behind those weak moments. So that's, you know what I'm saying, help you get your queen game on. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, be around people that's going to help inspire you and, and build you up for the better. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can't be around several bumps and think you, and think you finna be, you know what I'm saying, the star of the show. No, you're not. Not once all you hang around is bums. You got to cut motherfuckers off. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be the best motherfucker, you got to hang around seven good people. So you can be the eighth one. You know what I'm saying? Do not. I'm telling you. Hanging around people will become your rise or your demise. And you got to be careful who you hang around with. You got to be careful for their motives. You, you got to be careful about how they really feel about you. You really do. And you'll see throughout life, even, your, even people who you thought you was closest to. You know what I'm saying? Will we'll, we'll feel so fucked up way about you because they right here and you, you right here. All because... You made the choice to leave from this part and go on up to that part. People hate when, you, when you're doing better, though, because, like I said, it's all about having confidence in yourself in life. If you want shit in life, you got to have confidence about the shit. You cannot be scared. Scared money don't make no real money. Period. Scared money don't make no real money. So, you know what I'm saying? You got to cut out people who's not on your level mentally. And sometimes you got to outgrow people. And as you're growing, you do outgrow people. So the fuck what? You know what I'm saying? Because if, 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 if your friends and family really love you, they wouldn't talk bad about you. Yes, we all get on each other's nerves. But then when it comes to the point to where they is, is trying to damn this to make you look bad, that's all they want you to look like and be is bad because that's who the fuck they are. But have confidence within yourself, though, because I'm telling you, when it comes with what comes with success is people that will try you in all angles, and you gotta stay strong and confident. 
You know what I'm saying? You can't give in and give up because they feel a certain way about you because they mad at you. Mad they can't control you. You know what I'm saying? You hear them out in the street, they talking about you. Yeah, you do care and it do hurt, but guess what? They mad because they ain't, they ain't in your spot and your position. At. They ain't not on your level, though. But God give us all, all something. You know what I'm saying? To, 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 to lay bricks off of. But if you don't use your own, you know what I'm saying, your own powers and your own instincts and your own gifts, then, you know what I'm saying, then that's on you. But don't fuck nobody else up with it. Don't come around with your bullshit around somebody and think you're going to deflate somebody else's confidence because yours is deflated. Like I said, God is the way. He's the only way. You know what I'm saying? Some people may agree. Some people may not agree. But... What we all can agree on is positivity and happiness. You know what I'm saying? So, love on yourself. You're royalty, boo. You are royalty. Love on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit around waiting on others to love you just to feel love. Love yourself. Smile in the mirror. Look at the features that God has gave you and just love on it. And ride in your own wave. So, you know, queens and the kings who love us, like I said, keep strong. You know what I'm saying? Know that you're royalty. Know that you're worthy. You know what I'm saying? Know that you got your own way. Don't worry about the haters. Don't let people dim on your light. Shine your light. Don't, don't water yourself down because they feel that's what you should be doing. They don't know who the fuck they are. That's why the fuck they feel like you you too overzealous. No fuck all that. Get around motherfuckers that don't even, you know what I'm saying, feel your overzealousness don't even affect them. Only overzealousness only affect the motherfucker who's already affected. They don't even know who the fuck they are once again. So like I said, I'm just showing off this little tank top or whatever because I'm thinking about adding this to my collection. I don't know. But um, I'm still working on it and still seeing if that's what I really want to do amongst a lot of things with the brand. So follow me at Queen Game Thirty Four on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, I love y'all. I'm cutting out. I'm cutting out. I'm gone. Kisses. All love. Gone.